Hey there, foodies. In this video, we're taking a classic American meal to the next level with a delicious burger and perfectly crispy potato wedges. We're not grilling outside, folks. We're air frying inside. So grab your aprons and let's get cooking. Start off by washing your potatoes. Grab, twist, and pull until it's all clean. Next, slice them into thin wedges like these and then put them into a pot of water. In that pot, add salt and baking soda. Stir it gently. Chop your onions, mince your garlic, then head over to the stove. Throw a little piece of butter in it, let it melt, then throw some of that garlic in there too. Make sure you get that garlic garlic in and then put that burger patty on top. Yes, Lord. It was so good I had to do it a second time for a little sink. Add some smoked paprika to both of the patties and some thyme because we ain't got any. Play with the meat until it's only fans ready. In a medium sized container, add the potato wedges, virgin olive oil, garlic powder, black pepper, and smoked paprika. Place your lid on the container and shake it aggressively for 30 seconds. This is what it should look like after. Place your seasoned wedges on your air fryer tray and cook them on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 25 minutes. Saute your onions and minced garlic in the same pan you use to cook the burger patties. Make sure you get them brown like me. Here's what the potato wedges look like when they're finished. Feel free to add more thyme if you'd like them crispier. If you'd like eggs, on your burger, now is the time to cook them. Feel free to make yours however you'd like. I decided to kind of scramble mine. Add two pieces of butter to a hot skillet. As the butter pieces melt, season them with oregano, then place your slices of bread on top of your butter. Repeat this process for as many slices of toast as you'd like. After toasting one side, add butter to the skillet and toast the other. When you're finished with making your toast, assemble your sandwich and prepare your plate. Here's how my plate turned out. It was delicious. I'd love to see what you all came up with. Like, share, and subscribe. Send me some pictures of your plate. Bye.